Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Economic Week Ahead, brought to you by Business Day in partnership with the Movement Studio. I am Eniola Olatinji, and with me is my colleague, Wasiu Ali. This week is a very exciting week for us at Business Day because we will be having our annual CEOs CEO Forum World. on Thursday. Mm. And the theme of this year's event is Leadership, Leadership in, in Tough, tough economic, economic Times. times. And I mean, what 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 better theme can we have? It's a <laughs> it's very very timely theme. Quite timely. And what better speaker than we are? Can we have than the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Nigeria the monetary himself? Leader himself. Olayemi Kadosu. I mean, this man has had to be a leader during one of the toughest monetary climates ever. And what? Who else to learn at somebody? Who else to learn at his feet mm -hmm. rather than? The, 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 governor the governor himself, himself because he has really done justice mm -hmm. to the monetary side and then we have other amazing speakers lined up yeah we have um patrick Njoroge, the former governor former central bank governor of kenya who will wow. also be there yeah. then we also have the senate leader of the of the of the um senate mm -hmm. Senator uh, Michael Okoyemi ah, will also wow. be there, and quite a number of other people will be there. Join us for the prestigious Business Day CEO Forum 2024, themed Leadership in Tough Economic Times, featuring renowned speakers including Olayemi Kadoso, Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Catherine Dugan, Dean of the Business School at Cape Town University, South Africa. Patrick Njeroke, former governor of the Central Bank of Kenya, and Michael Opeyemi Bamidele, leader of the Senate, Federal Republic of Nigeria. Date, Thursday, July 11, 2024. Time, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Venue, Balmoral Hall, Federal Palace Hotel, Victoria Island, Lagos. Don't miss out on this opportunity to network, get insights, and drive results at the Business Day CEO Forum 2024. There is nowhere else you want to be on Thursday rather than, rather than the CEO, CEO Forum. forum. Mm -hmm. For more inquiries on the CEO Forum, you can visit our website at www.businessday.ng to know more about the event on Thursday. And on Moving Thursday. on to other events, we also expecting the OPEC results, monthly OPEC results. That is the monthly oil output of each exporting country. Countries. So um, we are particular about Nigeria and Nigeria in May had a lower than expected output. output. We had we produced 1.27 million um, barrels per, per, per day, and that mm. was lower than what we did in April, where we had 1.28. In fact, um, for March, Nigeria Nigeria's oil production witnessed a very significant downturn, which which saw Libya took over in, from Nigeria as the largest oil, oil producing, producing country, country in, in Africa. Africa. Like, I mean, we're the giant. We shouldn't and, be and doing quite, this. Quite a number of things have affected, uh, you know, oil production in Nigeria, some of which are... Oil theft, insecurity, ba insecurity bad infrastructure, no, and, and, and all and of that. Of but we really hope that in June, things, these, will, turn things will turn out well. We can only hope. <laughs> we can hope. only hope as usual. All right. Also, um, we are expecting the U.S. inflation on Thursday. Mm, the, the, the United States will be releasing its inflation figure on Thursday. Um, and you'll like, you'll be, you'll be quite fast. It's quite fascinating that the U.S. inflation declined last month. Oh my God, that's that's good news 3. for them. From 3.4 percent in April to 3.3 percent in May. Yeah. And so, um, some of the things that made the inflation see a drop. Uh, was the the fall I mean the fall in gasoline price oh. and you know some food some food also saw some sort of drop decline too. but uh, one of the things that is driving u.s inflation now is high rent uh, you know? almost like this rent thing is everywhere mm. everyone so, around the world is well, experiencing let's, let's it. just hope that but we really do hope momentum. that it, it continues to drop, to drop, and that might signify like a rate, a rate cut for the Fed. Whether in September or Yeah. Whatever. Also, this week, Nigeria will be issuing a 166 billion naira worth of treasury bills. Mm. Now, in this quarter, we um, were expected to issue about 1.8 trillion worth of treasury bills in total. And we've seen sustained yields in the treasury bill auctions over the past few weeks. And we expect that this week, the yields we see such yields mm, this week. We sustained. Yeah, we see the yield continue to sustain at about 26% this week. 
And um, uh, that well, takes us to our Naira. Naira. <laughs> Honestly, the Naira has actually stabilized. We can't even lie about that. It's mm. might we've seen some we've seen some little rise. Dip, yeah little mm. rise, but it has stabilized at a thousand four hundred to five hundred. Mm. Mostly five hundred in the um, black, black market. Yes, market. Mostly five hundred in the black market. I think market. it was one thousand five twenty uh, as of Thursday. As of Thursday. Mm. Honestly, we pray that it continues to at least maybe appreciate more, but like mm. generally you know, stabilize. Um, the the Serbian governors, you know, um, expressed some sort of confidence. If you remember, two yes, weeks he said ago. we've seen the worst. Yeah, that was like two weeks ago. Uh, so he said we've seen the worst of volatility, uh -huh. and the, that liquidity is coming back, back to the market. the market. And of course, what that means is that the Naira would see some sort of rebound. Yeah, and we hope that that rebound continues. And you know, it also follows the. The prediction of Fitch ratings that yes, that the naira, naira would, would be at one thousand four hundred and fifty by the end of the year, yeah, and so at this we let's just hope that this thing just <laughs> come to realization. Yes, the naira stabilizes. <laughs> we can we can, we can then wrap happy. it up. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, that will be all for it. Uh, for more insight into our stories, you can visit our website at www.businessday.ng or follow us on all our social media platform at businessday.ng. My name still remains Wasiu Ali. And I am Enyola Olatinji. See you next week. For more in-depth analysis, please read up on our website at www.businessday.ng.